Yeah, there's it's a little tricky, eh? There's um it's a little bit different. There's no AC and stuff like that. It's I think closer to the Pathfinder. But I haven't played a lot of the Pathfinder yet, so I think we will do that after my Assassin's Creed run that I'll probably never finish until 2023. But that's all good because Yeah, because it's Assassin's Creed, so you know, I gotta take my time with it. Yep. Oh. Sentinels. Oh, I go. These guys are like invisible sentinels. It's cool. Hello. Who are you? Is that somebody using magic, or is that her voice supposed to be chatting? Um, betray the market, drinks, blah, 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 you heard of them? I don't usually mix with nobility, except there's a riot and a chance to throw a few stones. Hee <laughs> hee. What was that sound? That was a really weird sound. He went with a druid. I cannot remember my class. Well, that is your class. Do you remember your race? Oof, my ear. Yeah, I know, right? As you say. This thing is quite large. Okay, what am I what am I doing here? Oh, I guess I, I can only go into the academy, so I guess I'll go into the academy if they'll have me. Maybe that's where the sound is coming from, and I might need to exit right away. Oh, the Dark Elf race. Um... The Gug something, the, uh, the, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. The, the, yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Ends in Gug, but I don't remember the beginning part of it. Oh, I go. This is like wizard school. I like wizard school. Great in, sir. I apologize, but the Warden Half Library is restricted to members of the college. How can I get access to the library? Well, you would need to enroll as a student or a professor at Warden Half. Could grant you a dispensation. <laughs> dispensation? I am reading that right, right? Well, you would need to enroll as a student. Or a professor at Wardenhof could grant you... Oh, oh, oh. I'm not reading it right. Uh, if a member of the college accompanied me, then I could access the library? Yes, college members are allowed to bring guests, except under unusual circumstances, such as when the member's access has been modified or restricted, or if said guests are particularly disheveled. Disheveled? Disheveled. Uh... I see. Then I shall return when I have access. Thanks for the information. Good day. I didn't want to go to your stupid library anyway. Libraries are stupid. <laughs> Very good, sir. Until that happy day. Oh, he sounds like a snob. I just left the Hall of Records and had to go to work, so I logged off. Oh. You played some good old Skyrim a little while ago while the kids were laying down to go to bed. Nice. I have not played Skyrim. I know. I know. I'm one of those. As you say. So apparently I'm in the lot. <laughs> I... 
Uh, hey, don't want to know what's going on there. Thank goodness we can't see anything. <laughs> hey, look, you can use stairs. Stairs are a thing. Where, where are you going? Poor library. Libraries are stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> there are stairs. I go. Ah, oh, you should go. What in the heck are these? Oh, hell, ho. Oh. Oh, they're building a... This golem, I'll bet, still under construction, looks rather intimidating. Hello? Yeah. Wow, there's just not a lot of dialogue yet, eh? But that's all good. It is... It is a work in progress. Oh, I forgot to, like, steal stuff. What's the matter with me? Loot, 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 loot. And I cannot loot that. Or it is slow in loading. Or I cannot loot that. As you say. As I say. Though, well... <laughs> in, in, in... Uh, Lord Esper's place, there were stairs, but you couldn't go up the stairs. It was very odd. It, it, I mean, you probably remember, but it was, it was just odd. There were stairs I there. Go. There were stairs there, but you couldn't, you couldn't go up the stairs. Hey, those helping hands are fixed. That's good. That's good. And I can keep my PG rating. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't you a lovely one? <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I blame the king. I don't usually mix with nobility, especially the uh, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> I probably went north, uh, whereas you went another way when you left the weird lady in the Mushroom Woods place. Yeah, she was a weird lady. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, oh. I'm listening. Oh. As you say. All right. This room seems fun and creepy. Ooh, robes. I will take that, but I will take that, I think, Yes. For her. Oh, my God. I never even looked at her spells yet. Fever. I got the fever. Right? Stonewall. So if so, if we're not supposed to have access to the library, are we not in the library, or is there somewhere else to go? Look at all the robes I'm stealing. You're in charge. That I am. I keep telling you, and you don't seem to believe me. This is cool. This, yeah, it's cool. Aha, uh -huh, I stole your bug. Uh -huh, I stole your... Mushrooms. Um, the lady in the tavern.
Oh. Which lady in the tavern? Like her? I'm always ready. What do you wish of me? Hi. Uh, this one? The Feldegug. That's what that's what they are. Yeah, her? Yeah, I met her. See? Right here. She's part of my party. Is she part of your party? I'll make it. What do you need? Bye. I assume these... Oh, there's stairs here. And these go up. We're going to go the upstairs. We're going to use the up. Yeah, she's in your party. And you found oh more God. stairs. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. I just thought stairs wasn't a thing in this game. Hello. I don't know why. <laughs> I just I can't. Anytime that that sentence comes up, I just think of a uh, uh, Family Guy. Ain't you a lovely one? Right? Uh, they got lists of such people at the Hall of Records. Oh. The Hall of Records might be a good place to go. I believe that's probably a quest that I have ignored. Yes! I need a calm spell. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's locked. That that means there's a clicky clicky thing. As you say. It's interesting music. I like it. Is this the boxes that the uh, Minecraft creatures spawn from? Because it kind of looks like them. Yes, these are helping hands. And up front, they were sentinels because they had weapons. But I don't know what those other helping hands were doing. Those other two helping hands seem to be glitching a bit. Yes, these are the guardians here. Because they have swords and shields. Mm, excuse me, but they're still invisible. Oh. Potion of clarity, let's see. I assume um, later they're going to put in a stealing mechanic where if you are literally being watched by sentinel guards um, You're in charge. that you probably shouldn't be stealing. Plus, if I technically don't have access to the library, I shouldn't have access to the library. Whatever it is you want, I'm very busy. Mendelroth. Oh, she knows him. My name is Kalviok, Lord Espin. I've been admiring your lovely college. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, if wizards could cast death rays from their eyes, I'd be standing with two piles of sin. I'd be standing with two piles of cinders right now. Uh, why does it look as if you are, too, if you two are about to stab each other? Look, I can hardly be blamed if a wandering goat, <laughs> my friend's name was Alderbarth. If you insist on raising these painful memories, in any case, the spell book was to blame for what happened to that goat. I mean, uh, Elder Broth. <laughs> the notion said nothing about it's Alder Barth. <laughs> or Alda Alda Barth. <laughs> and you had no right to Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I need to speak with you about something important. While this certainly sounds like a tale of rival the bards of old, could we possibly set it aside for the time being? Alright, what exactly happened to this goat of yours? <laughs> it's abominable. I've seen horrid misuses of magic in my time, but never. 
The spellbook contained a transcription error from the from an earlier. Alberbarth was a gentle creature and so clever, smarter than many of my students. It says so much that this ruminant uh, was your best friend. What more can I add? Hey, could you just get back on track? Okay. Very well, if I must do this now, what do you want? My title is Lord Espen. Yes, yes, but there is something <laughs> that you should specifically need from me. I am keenly interested in arcane lore, and as everyone knows, Wardenhof's library is the best in the land. It seems you have suspended my friend's library privileges, Lady Bala. Uh, I wonder if you might reconsider. I am considering enrolling in the course of the study here at Wanderhof. Wardenhof. Uh, that is well and good, but we can't have any old souls stumbling in here and getting their dirty paw prints all over our rare works. Hmm. Accepting uh, a faculty, which you clearly are not and never will be, the library is restricted to students or someone with special dispensation. Uh, you could also enter as a guest of someone currently enrolled. I don't know who's going to help you with that unless I see Bala in my office in a state of extreme contrition. This little visit may indeed turn extreme, but not in the way you hope. Um... I see. Congratulate you on your ambition. Beyond the fee, there is the matter of a test. The task, is it task or test? The task I have in mind is this. The school seller has very persistent rat problem. Yeah, because in this game, it's all about greed, right? So, um, yeah. So we have to watch our greed meter. Or we just turn really greedy, I guess. I think it's kind of like Mass Effect, where it's the Paragon and Renegade. I think if you start stealing, you're getting a little bit more on the Renegade. Rid us of all this resilient rodents, and I shall submit your dispensation forthwith. Oh no, not that. The only reason he's doing this is to humiliate me. You see that, don't you, Kalviok? Uh, yes. If that's what needs to be done, I'll do it. That's all? I can take care of your rat problem however I see fit. I need to give this some more thought. I'll return later. Naturally, far be it for me to stand between a man and his calling. <laughs> yes, if that's what needs to be done, I'll do it. Ugh, I feel sick. Maybe she doesn't like rats. Godspeed. Somebody's casting Hi. spells or something. It's kind of weird. Eh. What are these? Can I look on them? Oh, whoops. What's this? A giant rat. Try to focus. This isn't good enough. Oh, what is this? A Dolby. Now oh, look at that giant rat. Looks like someone did his homework. There's their problem. I know, right? Giant rats. It's always their problems. What is it with D&D games and giant rat problems? Is it because they're all low level and just can't think of anything else to throw at adventure? As you say. I'll go down this way. Hey, nice. Ooh. 
<laughs> I will. Oh, yeah. Need a candle. Oh, yeah. Dust of illness. And a book. The voice in the woods. Uh, you know what? I don't think this game would be good for Co Carnage because Co Carnage really loves to loot, and I think he would loot everything to his death. Of course, I am as well, but. Hi. Who's lockpicking, anyways? Who has a lockpick? Anybody? See, I can't lockpick because, yeah, I don't have anyone in my party. Level 1 adventurers need a good beholder to fight off the hop just to keep them on their toes. I agree. Oh, wait. I disagree. I go. You know, since I'm probably one of your players that will be a level 1. So do I go down here? This would be the base. I didn't see any giant rats down here. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't see any giant rats down here at all. I was already down here. Oh, really? I already agreed. I go. Okay. Do I have? But I have like a, a level ten mage and a fighter with me, though, right? Okay, I don't see giant rats down here. Or any other way to find these giant rats. Nice time to chat, eh? Sure. Let me guess. You're the long lost heir of his estate. Har, har, har. Actually, I am. Is it down here? How do I get to the giant rat problem? I, I have a feeling it's down here, but... Unless there's like another area, there is not. Oh, and there's no, hmm. what's here? A golem workshop, okay. I have to go back upstairs. Is there another way down? I will give you a stick and healing potion. Good luck. <laughs> I have not been able to find lock picks. I didn't know if you need a thief or if you can buy them from the general store. Yeah, I'm not sure myself, but I actually haven't been to a general store yet as every time I come out of a building, it's nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Okay. Oh, I go. Is there? I thought it was already over on this side. I didn't see any, uh, any stairs down. There's this room here. And then this was the kitchen. I do not know. I do not know where it is. They want me to rest the night? Like, what do you mean, come back or something? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, because they're always closed. And I was already over here. I'm just going to look at the map. I don't know why I keep scrolling around. Um, maybe that quest isn't fully complete. Maybe? Because, as you say, as I say, indeed, um, 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 I believe it would be a side quest. Maybe not. Journal. No, that's my journal. That's kind of cool. I like that. I don't know what I'd write in it yet, but I think that's pretty cool.
my party sheet. Oh, look at that. Cohesion. Nice. Diversity. Okay. I get diversity perks, I guess. And cohesion perks. I don't see any yet. Perks are not available until your first party level up. I got a party manager. Okay. I got my formation. Yeah, okay. She's the cleric, though. Boy, I got a lot of casters in this party. Oh. Um, Mr. Alarm, how are you? Um, there's supposed to be rats downstairs. Welcome to the realm, by the way. <laughs> oh, you wrote that quest. Oh, good day. Good day, sir. Well, I go. Thank you for joining. Um... So the only other thing I see is it probably should be up in here. But I cannot access down there and there's no rats here. There looks to be some uh, um, uh, zombies here or something. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. I appreciate it. But yes, this is downstairs, and I do not have rats. I am looking for rats. Yeah. I, you know, with that great moved, it kind of looks like I should be able to go down there. But there is no access to it as of yet. <laughs> I see. So... As that, you say. That's awesome. Didn't actually place the rats. <laughs> so how are things going at the studio? I mean, it's got to be pretty hectic and pretty exciting at the same time. With, uh, with early release, like, literally around the corner. <laughs> I wanted to put them next to a toilet. But it turned out we didn't have any. <laughs> you were a narrative designer and lead writer. Oh, you left the company back in April. Oh, I go. That's too bad. So I wonder if a lot of your, I mean, a lot of your story should still be intact, yeah? Lead writer. That's exciting. That's that's pretty darn cool. Okay, so I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any quest here. I wonder if it's somewhere else. I, you know what, I, I bet you it's probably somewhere else and I didn't read it properly. <clears throat> As I tend to do, because I like to just run around and do things. The whole main plot and a lot of the side quests. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, where have you moved on to? Are you working at Bethesda? Can you give us any insights to uh, the new Elder Scrolls? <laughs> Come on, there's there's only a couple of people here. Only a couple people on the stream. Ooh, that's nice. Well, I go. Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna walk over here where the noise isn't so loud, and maybe it's just loud everywhere. It may just be loud everywhere. Might be an audio glitch. <laughs> Not at Bethesda, though, eh? Okay. <laughs> 
so then you're at Ubisoft. <laughs> EA. Uh, yeah, here, here I go trying to think of uh, <laughs> studios on the fly. It's not going to work. You're a narrative lead at Unemployed. So you can write your own stories now. See, that's awesome. <laughs> what was that? What <laughs> freedom? <laughs> you know what? I just I you know what? I think it's cool um to be able to have your work and then other people enjoy your work. I mean, I think that's fantastic. I'm sorry that you're not with the company anymore. I'm sure there's a reason why and and we all don't need to know. But uh yeah. That's that's pretty wicked. I mean, I guess I kind of do the same thing with streaming. <laughs> right? Yeah. See, that would just see that would just be awesome. Well, I go. And the difference between, I guess, us streamers is we can't watch you enjoy us <laughs> or hate us, one or the other. Oh, hello, storyline. Hey, look, something's going on. Hey, that person just ran into me. Thank you for not stopping this miscreant. Thank you for, oh my God. Thank you for stopping this miscreant. Thank Alanaris. There are still a few honest citizens to be found in Isselbright. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Let me check my purse. I thought he meant to pickpocket me. I don't seem to be missing anything. No, I am not okay. There's a tightness in my left shoulder just here. I think I might have pulled something. Uh, and I hope there's a good reason why you're chasing after this fellow down a crowded street. Someone might have broken his neck. I think I like this one. I am sorry to hear that. Perhaps you can pursue some kind of restitution from this wiggly little scoundrel. Though, I doubt he will have anything in the way of fungible goods. There is always, uh, there is always his hide. Oh, I get you. Unfortunately, <laughs> the good craftsman is right. I am, uh, between professions right now. Nonsense. You have a profession, even if you're not particularly good at it. Give him a handshake, lads. That piece would pay both your wages for a month. I want that ring. Err. <laughs> Nothing. Check him again. Did you check his boots? Beneath his collar. Check the lining of his sleeves. His kind have thousands of tricks. Nope, nothing. He ain't got it, Master Morn. There you have it. No ring, no crime. If you ever get tired of hawking jewelry, you and your goons should try your hand at street performing. This is the best show I've seen in weeks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on, you two. I've already wasted half the day on this fool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. That is great. And I guess this is our fifth party member. Hmm? This is why I love the big city. Excitement, thrills, always meeting new people. Speaking of which, nice to meet you. Call me Hamlin, please. Why is your hand in my pocket? <laughs> Pardon, my hand? Well, I was thinking on a mystery of Master Morin's missing ring and I noticed this tiny bulge just there. Indeed, I always assume that whatever I find in my pocket belongs to me. I will be keeping this. Uh, of course. It must be delightful to unexpectedly discover such precious things in one's pocket. I myself hope to be so wealthy one day. So that's what happened. He knocked me over and pocketed it on me. You know, I believe you and I have something in common. We both have the aura of adventure about us. We are gentle people of the road, you and I, destined for greater things. 
than farming or learning a trade. What say we throw in together? Uh, we have less in common than you think. <laughs> yes, I like the sound Fantastic. of that. Fantastic. Let us carry on then. Perfect. <laughs> you know what? If you still know people over there at the studio, I would love to voice some people. Just love to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Off That's I go. Right. Nope. Come over here. I would love I'm to. I'm listening. I think it'd be great. <laughs> As you say. As you say. And I am going the wrong way. Totally going the wrong way. Okay, now it's daytime, so I can actually enter a shop. This should be good. And I believe I have a pickpocket now. Even better. <laughs> Thanks, Day Day. <laughs> Oops. Welcome to Adram's Tools of the Trade. What can I do for you? What do you have in stock? I mostly sell equipment for the working folks here. Hammers and nails, pitchfork shovels. You know them. Some of these tools do, however, serve as useful means of self-defense. Unassuming items can prove pretty effective in the right hands. I do get the feeling that a lot of the townsfolk come here to stock up on those. Can't say I don't understand them in these trying times. Naturally, here you go. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> and the big pain reacts. <laughs> that was more like a death scene, sorry. <laughs> so I can sell the hatchet and there's really not much else they have oh okay uh-huh okay nope 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 ooh lantern 370 wow Wait, how come it's 320 there, but 370 here? Corpus Alarm? Why is it like that? <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sure you don't know. Inflation? Perfect! What a great answer. I love that answer. I will refuse that, then. <laughs> Maybe I have to kill his rats, too, in order to get a discount at the shop. That's, yeah, that's my reasoning. <laughs> oh, loading. Loading. There we go. I go. Shall I talk to the commoner? Maybe the curse of greed, maybe a bug. It's a demo, count count on bugs or rats to already be dead. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have gone back to the the, uh, the quest guy. Maybe, maybe they were already dead. Oh, do you think the more I steal, the more the shops will cost? Is that part of that greed mechanic? Because that, that could make sense if that is part of the deal, eh? That, that is actually kind of an awesome thing. <laughs> yeah, the curse of greed is going to get you. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. 
I go. Minka. Hello. Ooh, hello. Greetings and welcome to the Stumbling Steps. What can I get you today? <laughs> Why is it called the Stumbling Steps? Well, there's an obvious reason for that, my friend, as well as a less obvious one. Take a gander at how our valued patrons walk. That's the obvious one. However, there was one memorable stumble that graced the tavern with its current name. The original tapman back in the day, Barnum, uh, was constantly feuding with his brother about who was really in charge. It was a family business, and old Barnum was never one to turn down a drink. Oh no. As the old man was walking home one night, he took the wrong step. That sealed his fate. He tripped, cracked his noggin on the cobblestone, and blood and brains <laughs> sprayed all over the square. So his brother won that particular dispute and became the boss. The name is a memento of that mishap. Wow. Try not to get stabbed on your way out. <laughs> I thought it would be like more like try not to stumble on your way out. Mwah. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be a problem. You're right, Mad. This is gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a big problem. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The music is great. The environments are pretty good. Obviously, still a little more uh, polishing. I go. All right. I go where? Oh, there's a crypt. Ooh. Ramshackle house, gravekeeper's home, Thistlebright, carpenter, well, carpenter, maid's house, family home, gray bark pawn shop, and a ramshackle house. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think it's terrible. I just think it's um, it definitely needs some polish, right? But it is early access, so <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's actually great so far for an early access. There are some there are some bits like in the background here. It's that's that's pretty 16-bit graphic right there. Look at that, eh? It's beautiful, and then even the character. That needs some model work for sure. As you say. Hey, where are you going? Hello. <laughs> okay, and sometimes the AI might be a little off, but you know, I don't know too many of these games where the AI is perfect anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the Greybark Pawn Shop, sir. Would you like to browse? Is this place legal? What sort of question is that? Every piece of furniture, clothing, and jewelry we sell made in our shop with a consent. We sell made it to our shop with the consent of the original owner. What? Is it getting that late? Let me see your wares. Here, take a look. Ooh, Ring of Lies. Ring of Lies. A rare ring made for diplomats, politicians, and other users of social arts to boost their ability to coerce their peers. 
the enchantment must be prepared with great care. Once the user is caught using such underhanded methods, they surely will never be trusted anywhere again. Unless, of course, they carry another ring with themselves. Uh, once a day, the ring allows its user to convince one person that their words are absolute truth. The enchantment is very powerful, but only affects a few sentences the wearer speaks. Oh. <laughs> maybe he, you're right, maybe he's wearing the ring of lies. <laughs> <laughs> good one good one love it griffin keeper's vest oh, look at that plus 15 plus 10 and plus 20. Uh, wow yeah maybe later a lot of the stuff you can find out in the wilderness I would assume I just wanted to see what was here Just a ring of lies. All right. I go. Welcome to the ring. The ring of lies. Can't tell if I'm telling the truth or not the truth. And I literally can't steal a whole lot here. Oh, 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 stairs. Mad, there's stairs here. I'm going to use these stairs. <laughs> I may have walked into something. <clears throat> I go. Hello, gents. Eh, that's nothing cool. I'm going to go back here, though, and check what this big chest is while you're standing around it. I, <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> I am on fire. I'm assuming that Oof. was trapped. <laughs> Got my second set of stairs, yes. He's still on fire, apparently. Oh, no, he's done now. Okay. Was it just the candles? I thought it was a trap on the chest. Or the desk, or whatever the heck that was. Ooh, I haven't found that one yet. Plague arrow. It's like a death mosquito in uh, Valheim, right? Could have been the chest. You know what? Just for good measure, I'm going to go check it again. <laughs> Who can... D oh, my... my. Okay, hold on. Hmm? This guy, right? <laughs> Dirty blow. Off I go. <laughs> Love it. No, no, no. Come this way. I don't want you to walk over that way. Okay. So it is locked. So I'm going to use L. Okay, I cannot... Hmm. What is your wish? A beer would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Love it. So I guess I need lockpicks, yeah? I haven't been able to find any lockpicks yet. So he is my elf thief. Oh, you made the insects? Playing some Valheim, were you? <laughs> so he is the worst equipped thief ever. Okay, it's supposed to be L. L, L, L. No. Nope. It's a hold down L. No, nope. it's basically locked. All right. Yes. 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 I'm listening. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can try that. Boop. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's that one? Weapons, consumable skills. Yeah. Lockpick. 
Oh, he's coming with me. Okay, the whole party's coming with me. There was a, I, mean, I yeah, I, there's a hot key. There's a hot key that hmm? says um, lock. Oh, so, okay. When I hit L, I think that should have popped up, yeah? Nice. Thanks, Porpoise. That's awesome. What's this? Sneak. Plant item. And steal. Huh. Uh, just for... Science. Quick save. I want to... Steal. From this guy. 47 gold stolen. Oh, this guy's good. <laughs> Steal from this guy. What's his name? Tonto? Oh, Tonio. Nice. No item reachable. Okay. Reachable. Okay. Oh, four gold? <laughs> that is, uh, oh yeah, I checked that. That is pretty awesome. I'm listening. That is pretty awesome. It is hilarious that there is, like, <laughs> that they can't catch you or anything, or at least it seems like that. I go. Yeah. That is oh, oh my. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, but my thief doesn't have to detect traps unless um, unless it comes up later. And I thought I learned. Hey, Matt, didn't we learn something about traps um, with the lady? Oh, because I should do magical perception on it, right? Which obviously there's probably not a trap anymore because uh, we just I'll do it. We just triggered it. Hmm? Uh, picky picky. Oh, unidentified bracelet. Southern copper bracelet. What is your wish? I want you to open your inventory, please. I love how you can just identify the fly. Plus seven to bargain and persuasion. Silver accessories are a lot more expensive than the ones made from more common metals, bone or wood. <laughs> That's pretty obvious, isn't it? Wearing adornments made of noble metals are indicators of the wearer's wealth or level of social influence or their ability to steal and not get caught. Love it. I'm going to put that on him. Hey, you know what? I'm going to put the other bangle on him, too. Perfect. We're good. Oh, there's uh, something back here, too. Oh, that one's locked, too, eh? So you say. It's key to learning and research. You just have to have it high enough to identify each item. Oh, cool. And what is this? A silver ring. Is it a silver ring of eyes? Wait, oh, because, okay, yeah, got it. That was weird. Can I steal from him? The shopkeep? Oh, I should have saved it before I did that. Oh, he's got nothing anyway. Yeah? I'm listening. Oh. 
listening. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. Ooh. Laggy load. I go. All right, where do we want to go? The southern shore. Well, we went to that one, the stumbling step, so we should go to southern shore. The bouncer. Oh, look at that. Hard to find the door unless you hover over. I think it's trying not to fall into that trap where in the isometric view it all has to be facing the way if you're going to access the doors. I blame the king. <laughs> Welcome to the southern shore, weary traveler. Fancy something to wet your lips, or we have other ways to brighten your day. Nice. What can you tell me about this place? I'd say it's the best place in Isolbright, uh, to kill an evening. Your deepest desires can be fulfilled between these walls. Look around, girls and boys of all stripes are at your disposal. <laughs> I know, right? It is. It is a delicate balance. We offer a variety of cozy rooms upstairs, should you wish to spend some private time with them. Just remember to pay first, fun later. Take a look around if you like, mingle with the staff. I have drinks, potions, and powders here if you desire. Ooh. Sure, what should we prepare for you? I just want to check out the rooms here. The cellar distillery, the noble room king size room located underground these damp dark rooms are equipped with the tools needed for cooking up concoctions brewing and drying while uh, resin in uh, resin here may yield extra results as well as a bonus to the skills nice the beds are soft spacious ensuring sweet dreams for the wary traveler Resting at noble rooms will restore a moderate amount of health to the party members. These lodgings are divided into several private spaces and a dining room, complete with large windows and room service. King size rooms restore a large amount of health to party members during the rest. You know what, Matt? I don't think we've encountered any of those in our uh, in our adventure. The uh, king size rooms—they've all been like modest and such. Although you guys did go to a uh, very rich restaurant in uh, Yartar, if I recall. <laughs> Come closer, my lord. A wench. What are these guys? These are bouncers. There's a cabinet here with curios in it. Ooh. I go. And there's one there, and there's one there, and yeah. Do you just talk to them? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Let me show you what real joy is. Oh my. The nobles call star problems. Let me relax you, my lord. Look at me, my lord. This can be all yours. I should get back to my weaving. <laughs> weaving. Uh, let me show you. Oh, yeah, okay. And just for... Hello! Come closer, my lord. 